I will talk to you of aught. For there is nothing else to talk about. For there is nothing else. Life is an obscure hobo bumming a ride on the omnibus of art. Burn gas buggies and whip your sour cream of circumstance. And hope, go ahead, sleep your bloody heads off. Creation is. All else is not. What is not creation is graham crackers, meatless sausage, and rice cake. Let it all crumble to feed the creator. The artist is. All else is not. A canvas is a canvas or a painting. A rock is a rock or a statue. A sound is a sound or it is music. A preacher is a preacher or an artist. Where are John, Joe, Jake, Jim, Jerk, Day, Day, Day? They were not born before they were born. They were not born. Where are Leonardo, Ludwig, Rembrandt, Shakespeare, alive, alive, alive? They were born. Bring on the multitudes and multitude of fishes. Feed them to the fishes for liver oil that you will be satisfied. Nourish the eyes. Stretch their skin upon an easel to give them canvas. Crush their bones into a pace that he might mold them. Let them die. And by their miserable death become the clay within his hands that he might form an ashtray or an ark. That he will take you in his magic hands and bring from your marrow wonder. All that is comes through the eye of the artist. The rest of blind fish swimming in the cave of aloneness. Swim on, you muddling and muddling maddened fool, and dream of one bright sunny night. Some artist will bait a hook and let you bite a pond. Bite hard and die in his stomach. You are very close to immortality. You will feed his creation. show you did. I liked it very much, Mr. Brock. Well, I'm overjoyed. Let them die, and by their miserable death become the clay in his hands that he might form an ashtray or an ark. That's word for word. Is it? I forgot. You mean you don't even know the words to your own poem? I refuse to repeat myself. Repetition is death. I, I don't get it. When you repeat something, you are reliving the moment. Wasting it, looking at a shed skin, severing it from the other end of your life. I believe only in new creation, new stimuli, new life. I thought you believed that life was an obscure hobo. I know that, Walter, I know that. 
I also believe in burning the creative candle, you understand? That was very end. To be uncreative, you might as well be in your grave. An unfeeling machine or in the army. They tried to draft me once. I couldn't pass the test. <laughs> <laughs> God. Walter has a clear mind. One day something will enter it, feel lonely, and then leave again. <laughs> Too much. So, yes, Cats, yes. If you want to know how beatniks live, William and me will show you. We'll introduce you to some real wild ones. You might even discover some artists of your own. Uh, uh, how much is this going to cost us, huh? Oh, what cost? A couple of bucks. You want to meet some beatniks, don't you? Oh, no. It's the artists I want to meet. We're, we're just crazy about artists. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, we hear this is a great place to school. Yeah. We're looking for something edgy. Well, in that case, I am the person you should be talking to. Uh, take a look at these. I'm sure some of these works will interest you. It's the Roadkill series. Uh, I do uh, the research and I take the pictures. Uh, it's not exactly what I was <laughs> looking for. No, we are looking for something with a bit more um, investment potential. <laughs> yes. It's a dead soul way to look at it. Uh, this isn't a supermarket. There are no aisles. Uh, yes. It's all in the attitude. Nonsense. My husband and I have developed many rapport with struggling artists. We're very supportive, especially my husband. He makes a very personal connection. He's very good at tapping into raw talent. Yeah. <laughs> All that is comes through the eye of the artist. The rest are blind fish swimming in a cave of aloneness. Oh, that's good. That's very deep, especially coming from a busboy. Yeah, very interesting. Are you a painter? Oh, no. Oh, no. Well, what do you do? Well, I'm working. I'm working on something. Oh. It's not done yet. Oh, what is it, man? Bigger painting? Huh? Draw me a house, Walter. Draw me some smoke coming out of the chimney. Get out of here, man. Negotiating <laughs> a deal. I am working on something. I'll show you soon. Walter! You! I'm beginning to try my patience. Is he, uh... Are you done with this? Yeah, get rid of it. Sorry. Besides, I have something important to do. Oh, by the way, did you happen to see Frankie tonight while you were out? No, I didn't see him. Well, if you do see him, tell him I've got a nice fat piece of ocean fresh halibut for him. Tell him that? If you see him. Okay, Miss Wicker, I'll tell him. But I don't think he'll understand. He's only a cat. <laughs> Good night, Walter. Good night, Miss Wicker. Sound is a sound 
or his music. A preacher is a preacher or an artist. Frankie? Be a nose. Be a nose. Why can't I make a nose? Frankie, hey! Be a nose. Be a nose. No. 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 Frankie, shut up. Frankie. I don't believe this. How did you get stuck in the wall? Okay. <laughs> Frankie, you okay? How, how you doing there, buddy? Is everything okay? Oh, no. Oh, Frankie. I'm so sorry. Mrs. Swicker. She had a, a nice piece of ocean fresh halibut for you. I'll give you to her in the morning. Repetition is death, thank you. Where are John, Joe, Jim, Jake? Jerk. Dead. 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 <laughs> 